Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is KCAL 9 News at 10. Tonight, horrifying video showing a man in South L.A. being hit by not one, but three different cars. All three drivers sped away, leaving the man to die. Well, unfortunately, there are many hit and runs in Los Angeles, but this is by far one of the worst ever. Tonight, police are trying to find all three drivers who hit that man. KCAL 9, Sarah Donchi is live in downtown L.A. with more on an incredibly tragic story. Sarah. You know, it really, really was tragic. And admittedly, there was a lot at play here. Police say they've conducted interviews with witnesses, with people who knew the man. They've looked at video, obviously. And they say it's possible the man was intentionally going out into the street to be hit by cars. They were speculating that perhaps he was suicidal. He'd had a lot of hard times recently. But still, these drivers did not stop. And police want to talk to them to see if some of them knew what was going on or if they didn't. But we know at least one of them appears to have realized that they hit someone. On a holiday meant for gratitude, one man fell victim to an unspeakable fate. On Thanksgiving Day, 62-year-old Jihad Muhammad was mowed down by not one hit-and-run driver, but three. He's been a little bit down in his luck, um, living out in the streets, but um, still kind of involved in everybody's lives over there. He has his little part. Um, and, yeah, unfortunately that night he lost his life on Thanksgiving. Police say Muhammad was standing in the street on West Adams outside the crosswalk when someone driving a white sedan, perhaps an Audi A5, hit him. That driver took off. After he fell to the ground, another driver in what looked like a white Cadillac Seville hit Muhammad again and also fled. On Thanksgiving, everybody remembers the weather was pretty bad, a lot of rain that night, that whole day. Um, so visibility could have been a factor. Um, we, we really, you know, that's our thing is we want to talk to these drivers. It wasn't until then that a good Samaritan tried to help, but a third driver hit Muhammad, dragging him underneath the car several blocks. And perhaps worst of all, the driver of that car, a woman around 70 years old, and her young passenger stopped. The child in the passenger seat got out, realized the man was underneath the car, then got back into the woman's car as she sped away, leaving the man for dead. I'm sure it was a traumatic experience for the, for the child to go through and see that. But she would just call 911. Who knows, possibly we get there faster, maybe save a life. LAPD is offering a $50,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of a suspect in this case. Still, they say they do want to interview these drivers to see what they knew and when they knew it. If you have any information that will help police, contact LAPD. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, Sarah Donchi, KCAL 9 News.